Today, we're going to spend the day falling in love with medicine. This event was set up um, in conjunction with our talent garden program to offer opportunities for young women to see themselves in medicine from all different angles, from physicians to nurses, nurse practitioners, researchers, and scientists. We're trying really hard to provide children with an element of discovery in what it feels like to be in the healthcare system. Today, they'll go through some panelist discussions. We have several physicians and other clinicians of color that are here to talk about their journey and how they became what they became. They'll see research elements and specimens. They'll do some hands-on training in the simulation lab. They'll learn how to do central lines and to intubate, to do robotic surgery. There's a whole host of uh, hands-on events that we put them through so that they fall in love with the skills and not just the idea. Yeah, 3M is really excited to partner with Hennepin Healthcare on this event because we want to give um, everybody a chance to learn about our technology that can help healthcare. So one of the things that we're doing today is we're doing a learn to listen lab where we're allowing students to come in and with stethoscopes they can listen to, to lung sounds and heart sounds so they can start to understand how does this um, stethoscope work and what do these sounds um, actually sound like. At 3M, we're really excited about the opportunities to um, welcome young, young girls in particular and young girls of color into learning a little bit more about healthcare in the hopes that they pursue this great occupation. Stark is delighted to participate in this go-around with black women with stethoscopes. We had participated earlier this year in the Black Men with Stethoscopes events, and we're really committed to diversity in the healthcare professions. Uh, as a technology supplier and primarily B2B uh, partner uh, with many healthcare workers. They have a, a, a large group, almost 100 individuals that are here with us this morning that are going to learn a little bit about um, hearing loss and hearing aids and uh, uh, what it takes to become someone who works with individuals uh, across the age spectrum who suffer from hearing loss. Representation is so very important. You can't be what you can't see. And so we take the time to be intentional in allowing these girls to see themselves in the women that are in these professions and know that they can do it as well. Today is such a fun day. This is the second best day of my career. The first one was when we did the Young Black Men in December. Today, I'm just looking forward to the smiles, the aha moments, the sense of confidence and knowing that they can be what I am. Uh, and the knowledge that I've given these almost 100 girls the opportunity to decide their path and their future and know that they're supported.